welcome to my channel. Um, today we will be uh, doing, or well, I will gonna show you um, how to do the Navy Colt 1911. Um, oh, sorry, the Colt 1911. This is the demo plastic. I made it in 3D printing, if you can see. Now, uh, this is the, the holster pattern I made. Has two options, uh, and you can find it in my shop on ETSY, and I will put a link down below. Uh, feel free to visit my shop and should you need any recommendation or or advices or even questions please or text me or drop me an email um, or contact me through the shop and I will be willing to help you um, it will be a TV series or sorry I mean um, series of uh, tutorial uh, video um, in my channel um, and um, I'm going to teach you step by step how to do this holster. I hope you like it. It's a contemporary Avenger type. There's also I'm selling the pattern for the saddle holster. Uh, this is the Avenger. I forgot the other one's name, but anyway, this is the saddle, uh, the Avenger, which has um, two parts of the loop. Now, if you see here, the belt. Now, this side is uh, the main leather. The other loop or slot. And the leather piece it's the upper piece I made it that way and um, the the openings or the cuts of the leather uh, belt uh, loops uh, I made it like three inches seven centimeter uh, to accommodate even the thick or the th yeah the thick belt that comes with the bullets so I made it uh, and as I said uh, there is two options in the leather piece the upper piece uh, one of them is this one, which is the long barrel to mimic the long barrel of the gun. Now there is the other uh, design, which is the oval shape, I call it, which is this one. If you see here, uh, this is the piece. I didn't finish it, but there is one ready. So it's like this. If, if you wrap around, you will see it. Yeah, you can see now. So this is the, and then the cut here. So you, this is the stitching part. So this is the upper, like this. But it has no long barrel. So it's depend on uh, your discretion, which one you like or your likening, which one you prefer. Uh, these two patterns comes together. Uh, because it's the same holster, it's just the upper piece has two options, A and B. Um, and um, if you would like to buy the pattern, please, uh, feel free to visit my shop in ATSY. Now I will put link below and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like if you like of course uh, because that will encourage me to continue and uh, put more videos and uh, more leather work and other holsters. Now I'm, I'm, I'm planning to do other uh, holsters as well. I did uh, three designs and uh, new designs but I didn't do any video tutorials nor I released these patterns on sale yet um, but of course your encouragement will help me develop these and continue uh, releasing uh, more videos and more tutorials uh, tutorial series I will call it because always I am taking longer oh, sorry I mean um, I don't cut short uh, videos and skip so many processes I made it all the processes if you like so that's why it's like minimum three series or five series in order to see the full production of each uh, holster so you can see here the, how it comes with the holster and you can see here how it comes with the belt um, how it's look how the angle will be with the belt yeah and i i quite like this um, long barrel actually this looks very uh, rigid and contemporary and hold firmly the leather I recommend two and a half millimeter leather thickness, Vegetan color, um, Vegetan leather, of course. And I personally don't use fabing dye. I dye using airbrush, uh, but another dye type. It's called Ronosol. Um, I will show you uh, in one of the episodes, or you will see it when when I am uh, doing the holster. Um, and that controls. Uh, I prefer that because I can control the tonings. So the more I spray, the more the color will be darker. Uh, and also you can, it's diluted in water, or dilutes in water somehow. 
to an extent, but in feebings it's too dark. Once you make a mistake or you make it darker, that's it. You can't control it uh, any longer. Also, when you do touch-ups, the color of the feebings is too dark. Um, I personally, when I did feebings, if I dilute, I, I put thinner, and sometimes it will slightly change the color. Uh, yeah. But it's, for example, if you buy saddle tan, it's not saddle tan anymore. It's a different type of uh, dye. That's why um, this one I found it's more accurate in terms of coloring. So I do recommend this leather, uh, this type of dye. And yeah, so um, don't forget, please subscribe and like. I'll be much appreciated because I'm new to the YouTube channel and I would like some encouragement and support uh, to release more patterns and more tutorials uh, on different type of leather works. Um, I hope you will enjoy this and see you in the uh, first episode. <laughs> okay, bye bye.
mark to the stitching lines uh, and we stick leather here so I will uh, start stitching so this leather will appear here so the, there is three steps we have to follow the first is to stitch this leather or in other words pasting this leather piece then stitching this first and then glue these pieces together I mark the location we will glue them together then we will start stitching this line why because this one is loose so when you flip the belt will be connected between here and here so this one will be loose like this so this is stitching line is important now I will do also a snap here snap and snap here to stiffen this when we glue so let's get started uh, and also sorry I forgot to mention this is a hole I marked the hole it's up to you, there's two holes actually, and the one here if, if it's the small uh, conscious, or it's here, but don't go any further, either the center of this, or here, depend on whether you are willing to do these stamps or not, so if you are doing stamping the tool, then I recommend you move it to the center, so it will be here, so there's a distance between the conscious and the stamps, the stamps, sorry. Alright, so let's get started now. Then after that we will stitch it here after we glue and then we will glue the leather lining on the back side. 